Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. Whether you're joining us live or later today or even on another day, I'm very glad that you are with us. So as always, we are going to start with a blessing, and then we'll be reading from the book of Psalms. Today it is Psalm chapter 69. <clears throat> and then we'll be reciting the Nicene Creed and the Lord's Prayer together, and then we'll be going through the prayers of the people. And we're going to go ahead and get started this morning. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers, you are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty. Glory to you. Glory to you, seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven. Glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we will praise you and highly exalt you forever. In reading Psalm chapter 69. <clears throat> Save me, God, because the waters have reached my neck. I have sunk into deep mud. My feet can't touch the bottom. I have entered deep water. The flood has swept me up. I am tired of crying. My throat is hoarse. My eyes are exhausted with waiting for my God. More numerous than the hairs on my head are those who hate me for no reason. My treacherous enemies, those who would destroy me, are countless. Must I now give back what I didn't steal in the first place? God, you know my foolishness. My wrongdoings aren't hidden from you. Lord God of heavenly forces, don't let those who hope in you be put to shame because of me. God of Israel, don't let those who seek you be disgraced because of me. I am insulted because of you. Shame covers my face. I have become a stranger to my own brothers, an immigrant to my mother's children. Because passion for your house has consumed me, the insults of those who insult you have fallen on me. I wept while I fasted, even for what I was insulted. When I wore funeral clothes, people made fun of me. Those who sit at the city gate muttered things about me. Drunkards made up rude songs. But me, my prayer reaches you, Lord, at just the right time. God, in your great and faithful love, answer me with your certain salvation. Save me from the mud. Don't let me drown. Let me be saved from those who hate me and from those watery depths. Don't let me be swept away by the floodwaters. Don't let the abyss swallow me up. Don't let the pit close its mouth over me. Answer me, Lord, for your faithful love is good. Turn to me in your great compassion. Don't hide your face from me, your servant, because I'm in deep trouble. Answer me quickly. Come close to me, redeem me, save me because of my enemies. You know full well the insults I've received, you know my shame and my disgrace. All my adversaries are right there in front of you. Insults have broken my heart, I'm sick about it. I hoped for sympathy, but there wasn't any. I hoped for comforters, but couldn't find any. They gave me poison for food, to quench my thirst, they gave me vinegar, vinegar to drink. Let the table before them become a trap, their offerings a snare, but their eyes grow too dim to see, make their insides tremble constantly. Pour out your anger on them, let your burning fury catch them, let their camp be devastated, let no one dwell in their tents, because they go after those you've already struck. They talk about the pain of those you've already pierced. Pile guilt on top of their guilt, don't let them come into your righteousness. Let them be wiped out from the scroll of life, let them not be recorded along with the righteous. In me, I'm afflicted, I'm full of pain, let your salvation keep me safe, God. I will praise God's name with the song, I will magnify him with thanks, because that is more pleasing to the Lord than an ox, more pleasing than a young bull with full horns and hoofs. Let the afflicted see it and be glad. You who seek God, let your heart beat strong again, because the Lord listens to the needy and doesn't despise his captives. Let heaven and earth praise God, the oceans too, and all that moves within them. God will most certainly save Zion and will rebuild Judah's city so that God's servants can live there and possess it. The offspring of God's servants will inherit Zion, and those who love God's name will dwell there. Alright, and now we will continue with the Nicene Creed, which I'm putting in the comments right now. Let us affirm our common faith with followers of Christ throughout the world and all of history in the reciting of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is, seen and unseen. 
We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son he is worshipped and glorified, he has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Right, and now I'll be putting the Lord's Prayer in the comments so we can recite it together. <clears throat> and now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father who is in heaven, uphold the holiness of your name. Bring in your kingdom so that your will is done on earth as it's done in heaven. Give us the bread we need for today. Forgive us for the ways we have wronged you, just as we also forgive those who have wronged us. And don't lead us into temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And let us now continue with the prayers of the people, which I'm putting in the comments right now. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. As always, the refrain, the part of the prayer that we all say together, is in all caps so that you can distinguish it. Lord, we pray for the worldwide church, for our congregation, The Journey, and for our campus outreach ministry at Graceland University, that we may all be one. We open our hearts so that we may truly and humbly serve you, that your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all spiritual leaders around the world, and especially for our own pastors. Justin, Sean, Mia, Tim, Lily, Eli, Caleb, and Michelle. That they may be faithful ministers of your gospel. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world especially our President Joseph, our Vice President Kamala, our Governor Mike, our Representatives Joshua, Sam, Emmanuel, and Ray, and those who serve in the local elected positions of our communities, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, especially Robert, who is undergoing CART therapy, Charlotte, who is going through various health problems, Pam's granddaughter-in-law, who has been diagnosed with cancer, Patricia and her son, who have a fractured relationship, the people of Afghanistan, that they might experience peace in the midst of a power transition, for Mike Snyder, whose brother Greg passed away recently, for Nikki, who recently had a hysterectomy, for Don Lowry and her family, for Shelley and her family, for Deborah's housing situation, for Bishop Guido, his wife Trini, and their family, for Patricia's granddaughter, Americus, for Patricia and her family, who are going through a rough time, for Anna Lee and her children, who recently lost their husband and father Michael to cancer. For Jeremiah's sister Jennifer, who has stage 4 breast cancer. For Brandy and Jim and their family, who lost their grandchild Everett. For Jennifer Holloway's husband, who is searching for employment. For Jennifer Moore and her family, that they may regain a sense of balance and peace in their lives. For Michelle's uncle Dwight, whose wife Barb passed away recently. And for Andy Wiedemann, who lost his mother Diane. Let them be delivered from their distress and raise us up as your hands and feet in this world. Let us live in the light of your grace as we go about our daily lives. We especially thank you for your loving provision for Darla as she diligently cares for her mother in the midst of sickness, 
For Nikki, well, she performs her daily work as an RGM and as she explores her faith day by day. For Angie, as she goes through physical therapy, and for Mia and Tim and Allie. Let us always remember and live within the grace you are always giving us. Give to those who have passed, especially Greg Snyder, Michael Montier, Everett, Barb Real, Diane, and those in our communities who have lost their lives to alcohol or drug addiction. Eternal rest. Let the light of your love shine on them forever. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom and work to bring it about here on this earth. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by troubles. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. All right, and that concludes daily morning prayer for today. As always, I am putting a link in the comments, rethinkfaith.org slash prayer, where you can go to submit your own prayer request. Um, as always, I would ask that you specify if they are public or private prayer request. The public prayer request I will put here in the prayers of the people, and the private prayer request I will only share with the Journey's leadership team, but either way, you will have people praying for you. And also, please send us updates so we can keep praying for you in whatever way is best for you. And that is all I have for today, so to anyone who has been here, thank you so much for joining us today. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow at 8 a.m. for daily morning prayer.